Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so some of you have already gotten my email uh, and I sent out an email if you are on my email list. I also posted in our group about um, a really cool eight page report. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you uh, some of the things that we've been up to and some of the research that I've been doing. And uh, many of you have been with me for a very long time and know that I give a ton of free information. I've had some of you reach out to me and say that you loved this report so much that can you pay me? <laughs> You've offered to send me money. And I, I said, no, you know, one of the things is that you all know by now that I love giving as much free content as possible. Uh, and it's no different with this. So I spent a good amount of time researching and working on um, compiling this for you and thought it would be a really fun, um, a fun resource for you. So what are we talking about? Nutrient thieves. So we're talking about basically medications that tend to rob your body of specific nutrients like vitamins and minerals. And one of the, I guess, key issues or problems is when you just don't know, like I, you know, there's so many different medications out there and you have no way of knowing what is good, what is bad, what's causing problems. So the general rule of thumb is don't take any pharmaceutical medications, synthetic pharmaceutical medications at the same time that you take vitamins and minerals. And the reason for that is they tend to disrupt one another. So specifically, we're talking about natural supplementation. So the, the I guess, problem there is that there's over 90% of supplements on the market today are synthetic. So it sort of doesn't matter too much. However, it matters if say you're taking something um, that blocks something else. So like Advair. So Advair is a common respiratory um, prescription. It depletes calcium, magnesium, phosphate, and potassium. So it's kind of like you just have to make sure that you're on extra of that. The issue though, that I've been teaching you all is to really pay attention to what the source of say your potassium and calcium and magnesium are. Because what happens is our bodies tend to get overrun with all of these medications, all of these compound elements in the form of processed foods, and then also your environmental footprint that is toxic. And what I mean by that is from the computers that are vomiting EMFs on you to the synthetic products you're using in your home to just walking through the mall, literally. The fragrance at some of the places that we shop in are so disruptive to our entire system that it causes all sorts of problems. So we have this synthetic footprint that we each own. <laughs> and that comes into play with not only our personal care products, our, our cleaning supplies at home, also at our work area, but also just out and about. Uh, sometimes we go to the mall to go to dinner. And there are certain places that I need to go on the other side. And and kind of like a graveyard, you know, the, the joke that when you pass through a graveyard, you hold your breath or, you know, you go over some train tracks and you lift your feet up, <laughs> kind of those funny little things that we grew up doing. I actually hold my breath and we walk as fast as we can past certain stores. <laughs> and it's because there is a like waif wafting over of, of chemical synthetic aroma that will give me a massive migraine for the rest of the day. So we avoid those shops at all costs. So one of the things to remember though, is that these are other elements at play here, but this, this document that I created and the link is in the feed here. So uh, when you go up to the title page of this, the title part of this video, the link is there. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can go down and look at the link down there. And it just gives you, you just type in your email, and it will send you the report immediately. You'll get an email with it, but then you'll also get it popping up immediately. And what it does is it goes through nutrient deficiencies, common ones, and the common symptoms. So for instance, I, I just focused on things that were like over 50% of Americans suffer with these things. And this is straight from the, the CDC and the USDA. These are statistics that show that 90% of all of us, all of us, 90% are deficient in potassium. So what does that look like? Well, it causes high blood pressure, it causes constipation, um, it can cause muscle weakness and fatigue. 
I don't know about you, but I think a lot of people are suffering from those things. It also can cause problems with your sleep and also just like muscle fatigue from working out and whatnot. 80% of all of us are deficient in vitamin E. What does that look like? Well, it's a weakened immune system. You can get with prolonged vitamin E deficiency, um, nerve and muscle damage and uh, mus muscle weakness and then vision issues. So not great. Well, 70% of us are deficient in calcium. Now with so many things fortified in calcium, right? So many of us are you know, thinking, well, that doesn't make any sense. Fortification is synthetic calcium. It doesn't do anything for us. So you might be overdosing on synthetic, synthetic isolated calcium, which literally your body knows to do nothing with it. You're just defecating it out. So if you're not on a high bioavailable calcium, it's not doing you any good. So that's basically 70% of the entire United States population is deficient in calcium. So what does that cause? Well, you know, osteoporosis, but it can also cause extreme fatigue, insomnia, brain fog, um, forgetfulness, right? So calcium is a big deal. Uh, and, and it just goes on. It goes on to list like people who are deficient in vitamin D, right? And we know oh, literally over 50% of us are deficient in vitamin D. And many of us are D deficient in certain months, right? When, when there's no sun. So what does that do? Well, it causes bone density loss, fatigue, sleep issues, depression, hair loss, appetite loss, muscle weakness, weakened immune system. Now, I might be okay with the appetite loss, but that's in extreme cases. You know, usually it causes um, depression and emotional issues, which then you start eating more. So this just goes on to talk about vitamin A, vitamin C, magnesium, um, specific people groups that have vitamin D deficiencies, uh, elderly, darker skinned people. And so these are, are common. All right. So this is where this is going to help you kind of understand what is the problem when you have these uh, deficiencies. And then I worked through the top eight medications that are most commonly used. So common, the, you know, Synthroid, statins, uh, basically, you know, looking at all the different drugs here, insulin, antidepressant medications, and, and what they're blocking. So you can say, oh, okay, well, I'm on Synthroid, you know, Levoxthroin, uh, Le levothyroxine, we say that one wrong, uh, levothyroxine, not sure how you pronounce that exactly, but that causes calcium to be lost in the urine. So if you're already calcium deficient and then you're taking Synthroid, you're actually losing more calcium. So you have to take the highest bioavailable calcium possible, which would literally be SuperCal Plus. It's the most bioavailable calcium I've ever found on the market today. And I've been researching other supplement companies just to try to see what they're doing. And seriously, I, I kid you not, I have yet to find one that matches SuperCal Plus. So, and then you don't have to dose on things. When they're bioavailable, you don't like, if your doctor's saying he wants you on this mega dose of calcium, you don't have to do that with bioavailable calcium. The reason they dose you is because it's not bioavailable. <laughs> it's not getting into your system properly. So. And then I list a bunch of other popular medications. And one of the things to consider is things like just simple pain medications. Um, Tylenol can be so damaging to us. And many people just take Tylenol like it's just, that's what you take, but it depletes glutathione. And if you know anything about glutathione, glutathione is the main like enzyme in your liver that is going to help detoxify your entire body. So it's a huge thing to have depletion in glutathione. Um, but it's, it, it's sadly acetaminophen, Tylenol, is um, the most common drug-induced cause of liver damage in the United States. So stay tuned because I'm going to be talking with you about how to do a liver flush. Okay, so that being said, um, NSAIDs, right? So non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen, right? Those deplete iron and folic acid. <laughs> like you're not good. Um, if you're on any steroid medications, oral or even inhaled, it depletes calcium, vitamin D, chromium, folic acid, magnesium, uh, D DHEA, zinc, ton of things. So it's not, it's, it's just it's to be aware of, okay? So we can go on and on, like antibiotics, they mess with things, diabetic medications, um, cardiac medications. There's all sorts of things that people go on for um, gout, for, you know, 
gosh, I mean, acid reflux, <laughs> GERD, um, diuretics, uh, basic GI meds, laxatives, uh, hormones, different hormone things. Like if you're on a birth control pill that contains estrogen, watch out. It's going to deplete a bunch of stuff, like a bunch of stuff. Uh, folic acid, magnesium, pretty much all the B vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin zinc, the vitamin zinc and zinc. If you think about um, super, super B, super B again is one of the most bioavailable B vitamins I've ever used. And I've used injectable ones. So you want that methylated really good B complex, which is our super B. So depression meds, it goes into all the things, anti-seizure meds, um, weight loss things. I also list all the sources of all my research on here. So you can go ahead and to your heart's content. Okay. So one of the best, most fun links in this report is found at the end of the report in orange. And it's a, it's a website that you can copy and paste into your browser and go ahead and uh, type in whatever medications you're on. And it will tell you if there's any known, um, blockages or depletions of certain vitamins and minerals. So it's a really helpful site. So I'm excited to share this for you for free. So that is something that you can get on, but do know that medications do rob your body of vitamins and minerals. So remember, if you are on medications, you want to take your natural supplements away from by four hours. So, so try to think about that. Like if you have a bunch of medications you have to take in the morning, um, you want to take your natural supplements at lunch. And then also consider coffee consumption. Coffee also blocks the absorption of many vitamins and minerals. So don't drink coffee while you're taking your vitamins and minerals, okay? Or anything high caffeinated. Try to kind of just stick to straight plain water when you're taking your supplements and give yourself a four hour window on either side. Okay, I know, not fun, but that's just the reality of it if you want things to work properly. All right, so I hope that this has been helpful for you and that you will be able to get the download information. Again, it's in the title bar here. And uh, if you wanna follow along with the rest of the series, or if you are interested in learning more about natural wellness through more holistic approach, you can join my One Drop Club. And it's a super fun group that we meet twice a week online on Zoom, and we have conversations and I'm feeding them all sorts of fun information when it comes to different wellness modalities that are helpful in a more holistic, all natural way. All right. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.